add some subdivisions. White two, let's make forty. That's nice. Enough resolution for yeah, the more points you have, the more detailed your end cloth will be. Because it what it does, it calculates like we, like we saw you like I was showing you yesterday with the with the soft body, what it does it has points, right? You have you have a polygon. Basically, it does the same thing. You have a polygon. You have a you have the vertices. It just it connects the springs across. So that you well, that you don't see. So you better use square polygons. Your model should be should be pretty good, pretty perfect in in topography. So uh, don't use triangle because this way you have extra. You know, you have you, uh, you have uh, extra uh, springs here, and that will it will uh, take longer to calculate. So you better have your poly your polygon model all squares. That's important, just for faster calculations. So, and, and the more you have, the more the better edge you have, the better the more the higher resolution. But it's also take longer to calculate. So this is our flag. Let's rotate it. And let's make a pole, just one cylinder. And then make it end cloth, create uncloth from that flag. And then we select the vertices. Transform, hit play. Sorry, and, uh, just make a make a plane, and then go end mesh, create end cloth, and then select the vertices on the side, and in end constraint you click hit transform, and you get this null. You're supposed to get this little null. This locator. Okay, you make the plane an end cloth. You make a plane, convert it to an end cloth. Create end cloth. Yes, yeah, okay. select a plane, convert, make an end cloth. Okay. Select the vertices on the pole. Select the vertices on the on the end cloth. Pole does go nowhere. <laughs> Your end cloth will fly around if you don't if you don't hold it. So, you select the vertices, right click, vertex. Go select and then, all right, and then now we can put the wind. So we have a nice, so we can do commercial for, uh, you know, presidential candidate and charge them for that. For the stupid simulation that we created like in five minutes. We'll tell them we work all day, man, look at, look how, how crazy it looks. I'll tell you all kinds of secrets. Huh? You select the vertices. And then we're supposed to move that Vertex. Plane, right? Huh? No, you don't, don't move anything. Just select it. It's gonna we're gonna flop in the wind. So select the vertices, the edge vertices, whatever you want. <laughs> you can select like two of them, but then like you see I can I can delete that. Let me do that again. Uh, uh constraint, let me do remove that constraint. Okay. So we have the flag. I can put I can select like two, these three, and then these three, but then in the middle it will be flopping in the middle, right? Because when it will be, be only held by those vertices. So if we go to end constraint and make transform, we got this constraint here, and it's hard to see, I think, because of light. But you have uh, this this uh, locator object. So now we, with all the edges selected. Yeah, transform the just the. You can select edge as well. You can go and select edge, okay. and it will apply to. It, it, it still will apply to points, but you can you know. I think you can even polygons, but it will go and the, and, the, and the hold it the, hold these points. So right now, if I run it, you see it doesn't. Nothing holds it in the middle. So let me make that. Paul. 
and mesh passive collider so we don't collide we don't go through it and now let's put some wind wind speed 5 and we'll blow into minus x directions so that's that's how I put it give it some more wind speed and some noise Here we go. That's our flag. Very simple. Now let's cache that thing. Let's me, let me show how the cache works and where it goes. Let's run it for what? 300 frames maybe? Okay, let's make it initial state so we don't, we don't start from a flat surface. That would be unnatural. So we go to end solver, initial state, set from current. Okay, rewind, it still keeps the shape. Now, let's go and make 300 frames worth of uh, cache, which is, and now we go to, select our end cloth, we go to end cache, and we say create new cache. Everybody has a simulation running? When you have all your flags, select your flag and open the create and cache option. And now it go, uh, now we, okay, cache name, just keep it as is. And one file per frame. I always, I always do that. I never do one file because of the file size limitations and the convenience of uh, manipulation or later when you when you got your cache uh, rendered so and then cache time range let's set it from well we have time slider but we can set it from start to end so we start frame one and whatever you have 500 frames or 200 frames let's do it like 200 frames evaluate every frame and save every one evaluation so we can evaluate more than one frame